This is the hardcore heavy duty battery box, a great way to get portable power in your campsite. Let's check it out. Hit it. Hey guys, Ben from Snowy's here today with the hardcore heavy duty battery box. Now, this is a box with all the circuitry you need to put a deep cycle battery inside. You can charge it while it's inside the box and you can use all these outlets to run power in your campsite. A few different things you can use. I'm going to run through it all with you today, how you can use it and what it's best for. Firstly though, what comes in the box when you buy it. So this is the battery box itself. You've got a top and a bottom section. All the wires and things are up underneath here that we'll run through shortly. But that's what you will put a deep cycle battery in. You also get um, little hex nuts here and a hex screw which go in the corners of the box up here to seal the lid on once you've got the battery inside. You get some little brackets here that you can use to mount maybe in the back of your car or wherever you need to mount it to use in combination with this strap. So it will go underneath here. The strap can go up around the box here following this line here to secure it down in your vehicle. And you also get these little um, caps here which can be used to go over the terminals of the battery to stop any short circuit happening between the positive and the negative there. And lastly, you do get a manual that shows you how to use uh, the box, how to set it up, but we're gonna run through most of that with you today. Now the box itself measures about 45.5 centimeters from end to end here, about 24 centimeters in depth, but it adds a little bit of extra width here with this, uh, this handle, it's about an extra three centimeters with the switch here, and it's about 33 centimeters in height. But with regards to the actual battery that you fit inside here, the, it, it tapers a little bit to the bottom, so you need to um, kind of be wary of that. But by our measurements, you can fit a battery about 32 centimeters in length. It's got to fit between these bits here, about 18 centimeters in width and about 24 centimeters in height. If your battery is close to those dimensions, then could be cutting it fine. It'd be worth just trialing it before you make the commitment to purchase. Now the weight of the unit is a little bit over three kilos and they say it's got a maximum carry capacity of 35. So 35 kilos plus the three and a bit kilos for the battery box is, is the maximum weight you'd want in there. If you've got a battery that's heavier than 35 kilos, I guess hardcore don't guarantee that it's, it's sturdy enough to hold that, but it is made with a heavy duty ABS plastic. So it is made to be nice and durable and uh, also very reasonably resistant to, to UV and that type of thing in the back of a car. We took a bit of a tour on the outside of the box here. We'll start with the very back, nothing to see there. You can see the strap or the, and the um, notch at the bottom there where the strap will go over to hold the um, box in place. On this end, nothing very exciting. Once again, just the carry handle there. You can double them over if you like, or just uh, hold it straight up like that. So it sits just up over the top of the box. On the front here, starting on this side here, we've got three ports, two 12 volt marine style cigarette um, sockets that have got this little lock feature. So you put it in and twist to make it a little bit more secure than a, just a standard cigarette port. And then you've got two USB outlets here, five volts, 2.1 amps total across two of those. But you've got two um, out outputs there anyway. Now these are designed for output only. They're not designed to charge the battery inside. Moving across from that, we've got the large isolator switch here. Now that's off at the moment. If we flick it to on, that then engages the battery inside with all of these ports and the ones on the end that I'll show you shortly. So we've then got power. Flick that around again and the battery is completely disengaged from this so we can't accidentally drain it. Coming across further, they've got a little control panel here. Now this isn't lit up because obviously we haven't got a battery inside at the moment, but there's a little on off switch here so we can turn that on and off if we please. If we just scoot down to the bottom right hand corner of the box here, we've got a little example of how it looks. With a little charge indicator here to show how much charge is in the battery and also the display here which shows uh, the, the voltage of the battery inside so you can monitor the health of the battery. And we'll just get around to this end of the unit here now. Another carry handle here and above that we've got five different ports. Now these are input and output ports. They're 50 amp input output Anderson style plugs. So we can use this to plug a solar panel into to charge the battery or we can use an Anderson to get power out as well to run things like fridges. And this one over here they say is an um, output only. Ideally used with the um, jump starter lead kit that comes from hardcore here that's got the big plug that fits in here with some jumper leads you can then use this port here to jump start a car if the battery inside has got enough cold cranking amps to do so now previously these units did come with a voltage sensitive relay built in so you could use one of these ports to um, turn it up with your um, main cranking battery in your car to allow the alternator from your car to charge this battery inside now they've excluded that on this um, this model here 
probably because a lot of people use DC to DC chargers and that VSR plug became somewhat useless. But what they have done is make it really easy with the optional VSR kit here to add your own voltage sensitive relay in underneath here. So if you can quite see, but there is a little space here underneath that you can bolt the kit inside. It's all included in here with instructions on how to do it and all the cables you need. You then undo a few of these um, cables into here. There's a little cap there that comes off. You can then re reroute some of these and turn one of these ports into a port with a voltage sensitive relay. Alternatively, you can just use it with your standard DC to DC charger and wire that up um, externally to the battery box here. The benefits of a DC to DC charger is that um, you're probably gonna get uh, more charge out of your battery and it sort of controls that charge level in the battery a little bit better than a voltage sensitive relay, which basically just um, cuts off at 12.8 volts and cuts in at about 13.2, I think it is, um, and rather than changing the actual amount of charge going in the battery. Now the box is designed to charge all battery types, so AGM, wet, uh, gel, calcium, lithium type batteries. And when you put your battery inside here, there is a strap situated on the bottom here, just a Velcro strap with a, a loop on it. So you can secure the battery inside and then use that extra strap provided on the outside to secure the whole box down in the back of your car or, uh, or your ute, however you've got it mounted. Now some common questions we get um, about uh, the battery box here. And one main one is, can I use a DC to DC charger? And that sort of came about when it had the built-in voltage sensitive relay, which it doesn't now. So certainly use a DC to DC charger, that would just sit between this battery and your car battery um, and give a different or a, a better charge to this battery here. If you just want to set it up as a dual battery setup in your vehicle then add the VSR kit inside. There's also a dual battery wiring kit that Hardcore make so it's nice and easy to set that up in your vehicle. Um, the VSR then cuts out at 12.8, cuts back in at 13.2 to make sure your main battery doesn't go flat. People also want to know, can I charge it via 240 volt? You certainly can. There's no readily available kit for that. Um, so you'd have to find a 240 volt um, transformer uh, and then have probably an Anderson plug uh, or 10 amp Anderson plug um, to be able to plug it into here and charge the battery. Can also charge via solar once again through the 10 amp inputs here. Uh, make sure you use your solar controller in line with that so that you get a nice steady charge to look after the battery inside and also get maximum charge out of it. Here's pretty much all the questions and features we've got to say about the battery box. It does, or one, probably the most important um, feature, it now comes in black and white. So you get a choice of colors to suit your vehicle setup, um, whatever best uh, suits inside of your car, I suppose. You can grab these online and find more details at snowies.com.au where you'll find them at our lowest prices every day. If you've got any questions, let us know down in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel, we'll send you all of our latest and greatest information. We'll check out some of our other videos like this one down here.